J.C. Corcoran with Trish Gazelle on KTRS. I love it because it's trash. On the radio and on the web. Way wow. Everybody. Hi, everybody. It's, it's, time. Hey. it's, it's time for proud. Trish's Trash. And now here's the star of our show. Thank you very much. In her referee outfit, no whistle, Trish Gazelle. Now, why are you saying that? Because, that, you know, yeah, like you're going to make me self-conscious. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about the X Factor. It opened last night, or it premiered last night, and Simon Cowell said, anything under 20 million viewers, and I'm going to be bummed out. Well, they only had 12 million viewers. Really? Only 12 million yeah, for the for X Factor? Yeah, for X Factor. Yeah. <laughs> oh, um, Modern <laughs> Family wah, wah. and Criminal Minds beat X Factor. See? Wow. It's basically... American Idol. Well, I became mixed a little. With America's Got Talent. I saw a little bit of the show. I became down a little suspicious when their theme song was. <laughs> oh, and Ryan right. Seacrest walked out. Right, right, right. Did you watch it? Uh, I did not. I was not home last it's night just to watch easy. it. Yes or no? No, I didn't. <laughs> um, suddenly, she turns into Ed Bradley oh. when she gets on TV. Uh, you... Guilty with explanation, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can't take that. Okay. All right. So the judges, L.A. Reid. Never He's, heard of him. Um, Record exec. Then we have, well, they started the show with Cheryl Cole. Who got thrown off the show later before for, they even started the show. Yeah, with Nicole Scherzinger. That's who replaced her. Thank God they got rid of Cheryl Cole. And she was the, so annoying. Nicole Scherzinger, she was a pussycat doll? Correct. And did she do anything else? Uh, No. She make had that a noise. single. Make that noise again. Uh, I can't recreate. I can't. <laughs> Um. Oh, <laughs> Paula Abdul. We miss Paula. Uh, oh, the clapping. Paula. And then she walked off because she. They said she was sick or something or what. Some guy exposed oh, his pants, himself. His no, pants he fell. pulled his pants down. Oh, he did. And was showing. It was just stupid. You wonder when a guy does that. Did it work once? Yeah. I Is know. that why he's going around doing that? I'll uh. say this about the X Factor. Uh, I liked it. Because, number one, it's 12 and older. It could be a single person or a group. And they they didn't have as many bad auditions as American Idol did. So they threw about, in a couple. But I'll say this about the X Factor. I think it's hilarious that Simon Cowell said anything less than $20 million and I'm going to throw myself off a bridge, and it only got $12 million. Yeah, I know. Okay, but they started the show with this really cute girl. Her name is Rachel Crow, and she's 13 years old. So cute. Here, here she is. You got me back. Jackie Ivanko is sitting somewhere watching the TV going, hey, little bitch. She's so cute and she's so good, isn't she? She, no? she sounds like Duffy a little bit. You don't think she's good? You're all right. Mm. Well, here's what Simon had to say about her. We miss Simon. Let's hear from Simon. Simon didn't say. Oh, go ahead. Uh, you know, Rachel, you know. We, we spent a long time deliberating how low we took the age this, uh, on this competition. You are the reason why we were right taking this age down. Oh, uh, Simon. Why didn't he was right. Why didn't everybody just stay on American Idol? Paul Abdul. I know. Simon Cowell. Everybody just stay on American Idol. Instead, now everything's been watered down, and this is what happens. You put the new show on the air after a year of hype, and it gets 12 million viewers, which is nothing. And it's coming. And it's against Modern Family, which won all the Emmys the other night, so there was a lot of curiosity. Well, let's just say, okay, so it had a rating of 8.7. That nothing. was the rating. Yeah for The X Factor. But when um, American Idol, the first ever episode, that debuted, it was only 6.1. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if you want to look at, you know, and then it built up the audience, if you want to look at it that way. With Ryan Dunkelman? Ryan. <laughs> Ryan Dunkelman. And Ryan Dunkelman. There was just Brian so Dunkelman. much on TV tonight. All right, let's move on to Arnold Schwarzenegger, breaking his silence, writing an autobiography. Um, he's been working on this book for over a year. I'm going to make it the number one action biography of the history of literature. <laughs> it's tentatively <Who> titled <laughs> Total Recall, My <laughs> Unbelievably... Maria Shriver, you oh. didn't know? Hey, oh, hey, it's tentatively titled Total Recall, My Unbelievably, <laughs> tru Unbelievably True Life Story. So it's going to address the affair and the <laughs> relationship with Trish Maria Shriver. Like, hey! Whoa! Shut up. I got two more things to get through. Lifetime cancels Roseanne's reality show called Roseanne's Re nuts. Yeah, that's what it's called. <laughs> and Katie Holmes is going to appear on How I Met Your Mother this year as a slutty pumpkin. <laughs> I'll take uh, that for what you I don't will. believe those words have know. ever been spoken. Okay, together. on tonight we mentioned X Factor on again. 
all these series premiere. We have the season premiere of The Big Bang Theory, Community, Charlie's Angels. We talked about this yesterday. It's the big series premiere. Mink Kelly. Good morning, Angels. Had a crew member <laughs> fired because with, he slapped her on the butt. Good morning, Charlie. Good morning, Charlie. So the voice of Charlie was going to be Robert Wagner, and now it's Victor Garber from Alias, and he's in like everything as a character actor. Also on tonight, the series premiere of Person of Interest, season premiere of Grey's Anatomy, season premiere of The Office with James Spader is on tonight. That's an hour long. Can't wait for this. He's awesome in this show. I think it's going to be really good this year. Um, Also on series premiere of Whitney. We had Whitney's boyfriend on about a half hour ago. And The Mentalist. And then, oh, that Maria Bello um, show called Prime Suspect. And this was taken off a British show that starred Helen Mirren because we have to take all of the British shows and put them on TV here. (laughs) That's going to be on tonight, too. Mm. Prime Suspect. law now. I'm Trish. That's the Trish. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, and happy birthday to my little baby. Yay. Francesca is turning hey. two tomorrow. Happy birthday. All right, we got to go. Dan Strauss, Lawrence Morning Show in the afternoon. Next here on the Big 550 KTRS and KTRS.com. We'll see you tomorrow. Woohoo! At yeah. noon. Good morning, Fairfield Golf Club. This is Lucy. How can I help you? This video was produced by iCast Studios. For more, go to iCastStudios.com.